Hello and welcome to Spreadco's video update for Thursday the 7th of September. We've just had the ECB meeting, we had the statement earlier on today and uh, Mario Draghi has just finished his press conference. First of all, there was nothing unusual or untoward in the statement. Uh, it was pretty much as expected. No changes to any of the interest rates, no changes to the uh, ongoing bond buying program. Perhaps of minor um, interest was the fact that uh, the sentence, uh, the following sentence was kept in about the 60 billion euros per month bond buying would continue up until the end of this year, December 2017, but could be extended in duration or size as required if necessary. Now that form of wording was in the previous statement but the fact that it was kept into this one um, was seen as slightly dovish and we did see the euro dollar although it had been rallying and has been rallying all morning we did see it pull off about 10 to 20 ticks on the back of that although it soon bounced up and was trading just under about uh, 120 uh, at the time that Mario Draghi started his press conference. Now the press conference is really where the meat with the, all this is because this is, it gives uh, Mario Draghi an opportunity uh, to be questioned and to explain himself on various matters and of course the things that people wanted to know about uh, was what now for the bond purchase program for quantitative easing and also uh, any comments about the currency. Mario Draghi said there were three areas that the ECB discussed, growth, inflation and uh, uh, the currency, FX. On growth, um, the ECB slightly upgraded their forecasts uh, going ahead. Uh, now 2017 GDP is expected to come in at plus 2.2 percent. That will be the best rate since 2007. And he also said that growth was basically broad based and uh, looking kind of robust. So that was good. On inflation, not so good. That set needs careful monitoring. Uh, obviously the exchange rate um, that the, the euro is playing into this to some extent. That's something that's very much on the ECB's mind. Uh, but they had no doubt um, it seems that they're quite confident that there's going to be some convergence with inflation and that is going to pick up. Now, having said that, they've downgraded their inflation expectations. 2017 is now plus 1.5%, next year down to plus 1.2% and then going up to one plus 1.5% again in 2019. But that's a big gap from the Fed, uh, from the, the Fed sorry, beg you, the, pardon, the ECB's target of, of 2%, just under 2%, that's how they set their target. Now, going on to the issue of euro strength because Mr Draghi said that the stronger euro, euro is putting a dampening effect on the inflation rate as indeed it does because um, a stronger euro means that your imports are cheaper and this is, uh, this is disinflationary. Um, obviously your exports, it's, it's more difficult to export as well because your goods are more expensive to uh, overseas buyers, people who are having to convert into your currency in the first place to buy your goods. So that's a bit of a concern. And, but what Mr Draghi said was that a bit in a sort of a slight echo of his whatever it takes to save the euro back some years ago, he made it abundantly clear that he was going to do whatever it takes to get inflation up to target. Now he was questioned on the bond buying program. Um, he said that the, they had discussed it in terms of uh, extending duration. Well, in terms of they discussed the duration and the size of the bond buying program, and he's still leaving the door open for extending this, you know, going forward into the future. But he said that the type of assets they, uh, that, that might be included in that wasn't discussed. He said he's perfectly happy that the ECB is not going to run out of eligible bonds to buy. So that was an important point. And then he was also asked about bubbles and he, this, was, this is one where really he sort of took the buck and passed it because he said as far as he was concerned the, EC, the, the, the central banks weren't responsible for creating bubbles. Not only did he not see any bubbles, he saw some uh, elements of um, elevated house prices in some areas but this was not broad based. He didn't see bubbles in stock prices um, and he said anyway it's really not down to monetary policy. It's much more to do with leverage and that was a macroeconomic um, factor which was down uh, to governments to regulate on. So as I say that was, that was one buck past there. So now we get back to what's happening to the euro dollar itself. What we did see the euro dollar after I said that sort of brief pause and a bit of a sell off um, straight after the statement we then saw it rally quite sharply once this Q&A session started. We got up to 120.60 at one stage and now it has pulled back, uh, it pulled back below 120. We're now quote, uh, tr trading around 120 as I speak. Now this area of about 119.50 to 120.50 is very important. This area acted as support in 2010 and 2012 and it's now 
quite likely to act as an area of resistance going forward. So I don't think Draghi has done enough to derail the current rally in the euro dollar. So let's keep an eye on that one 2050 area and see if that gets broken. Because although he's saying he's going to do whatever it takes effectively to get inflation higher, the problem is that people say, well, in that case, you've got to continue on with this bond purchase program. And the point is, at some stage, you're, you really are going to run out of road. So that's where we're left with that.